Mad attack here. And we're watching a uh, one versus one, love handles versus Elias. Uh, Elias has been kicking my butt today, for the most part. And of course, uh, I forgot. I'm selling all my stuff here in a sec. If it'll allow me. And of course, we don't resign. Alright, the lag is done, so I'm blow myself up. Let's see what we got. Of course, we got Elias in the bottom left. Okay. And love handles in the mid right. Love handles, probably the best player around. That still plays, at least. He claims there's folks that are better than him, but I find that difficult to believe. Elias is the up-and-comer. I swear he wasn't so good yesterday, but he was kicking my butt several times today. Alright, so we got uh, Barracks, two Harvesters, Power Plant. Uh, and a Nod, three Power... Uh, he's going to have to build a Power Plant now. Uh, let's bookmark our stuff. Seven for him. Eight for that. Right there, boom, 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 all right. And uh, Elias getting a little early scouting as I'm sure, oh! That would strike fear into the heart of most men, but uh, again, Love Handles is so good at microwing these guys, it's like ridiculous. You can, it's like that movie 300, you can kill 300 guys with one freaking grenade or, oh, of course, Elias is getting a view of his base. Hopefully he's not going to do the Orca move, or uh, Apache move. This is where the... Oh! He's probably on his way to building a whole bunch of Apaches now. Oh yeah! He knows what he's doing. He might even do it without a weapons factory. He's often humiliated me that way. And I'm sure this is going to be an interesting game. And of course he's sending flamers now to deal with those rocket men. I said he, oh he's already gonna start with 20 million medium tanks which is always a good strategy we got one two three four five one two three four are our refineries mmm mammoth tanks always a good idea when one is faced with a heavy air opponent ah he's only going with one Apache though I stand corrected, he's going medium tank. I see him babysitting his harvester there. Sign of a true professional. Boy, Elias has got a pretty good economy at the moment. <clears throat> Interesting he's not going with advanced guard towers. Of course, they only protect a limited range. Oh, he's letting his harvester idle there. Ooh, two weapons factories. He's gonna churn out... Oh, yeah. He's gonna churn out those mammoths. with 
No. Oh, there he goes. Weapon strip. There he is. Ready to deploy rocket men at any point. That's a really good strategy, come to think of it. Another mammoth. Flame tanks. Ha! I think he sees this apparatus down there. Both with five refineries. Oh, looks like he's taking the offensive. What would really spice things up would be an obelisk right now. Uh oh. Easily dealt with, wow. <laughs> this is quite exciting here. Very good game. I don't know what he's doing with them bikes, they're gonna. He's got an obelisk there. Looks like he's needing one right here at the moment. Looks like the action has shifted over here. Momentum has swung. Of course, those medium tanks are going to make short work of those bikes as long as he stays out of range of the obelisk there. He's going to need to there you go oh he's low power uh oh that's not a good sign if he's selling all this stuff and love handles amassing quite the force here he can just go in for the kill if he wants Oh, Apache's history. Thirty-seven to twenty-four kills in Love Handle's favor. And he is now thoroughly trashing Elias' stuff. Makes me not feel so bad because I have yet to beat Love Handles. What a horde of tanks. Yeah, like I said in an earlier video, a uh, good way to handle obelisks is men or MLRSs. I forgot to mention 20 million tanks will make short work of an obelisk. Oh, and he's not going for the quick kill, he's going for the painful crushing defeat. Aww. Oh well, good game.